God, I love free market capitalism. Up, what are you, Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 in today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be Veroni Kenshin Hokkaido Arc Chapter 26. And last time I covered this manga, Aran gave us a great, great lesson in um in economics and really reminded us why capitalism is fucking awesome. Let's be real. Um and uh in the process, uh we found out that um Takeda escaped prison, and he was trying to make a comeback. And, man, that motherfucker was sneaky. Uh, we found out he was on, uh, on toilet duty, and he was, he was cleaning up some nasty shit. But in the process, though, well, in the, in the midst of cleaning all that nasty-ass shit, he found money! That sneaky-ass motherfucker found, uh, he found treasure amongst the shit. <laughs> he was able to invest that money. So, yeah, you never know, man. But uh, we found out who we're dealing with next. We found out who was um, who Takeda was investing with. And that is one of the um, Kinkaku Heiki uh, generals. Um, and his name is uh, Shimonji uh, Ryu. There we go. So, without further ado, let's get to this chapter and see uh, what's in store for us today. There we go. So now we're in downtown uh, Otaru. Let's see here. We need rice, miso, dried and, dried and pickled vegetables, and last is sake. Huh? The streets are filled with, uh, with gato swords. Um, Fucking kill ya again. Ah, free market capitalism. Um, these Yakuza thugs are just causing trouble again. Jeez, all this talk uh, about killing. Just go ahead and do it. Ooh. The God of Sword is old news already. From now on, I use the God of God again. Free market capitalism. Because what happens in free market capitalism? It don't happen in. Uh, and communism, and Keynesian economics, innovation, baby. This is some innovation right here. And, uh, and evolution, too. There we go. Uh, here we go. The Gato Sword is old news already. From now on, I'll use the Gato Gun. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the way. Right to your heart's content. Um, the Crest of Gato, uh, is carved into the grip of, of the gun. Someone who pulled the trigger is, uh, sets off a wave of riots. And ch chapter 26 is titled The Value of Money. Getting, dude. Suki. Slash uh, Kurosaki. We're getting, we're getting more, more economic lessons. Dude, again, and I gotta say, the timing, the timing of Roroni Kenshin Hokkaido arc, especially with the past few chapters, and this chapter, it's just so perfect, because all these motherfuckers out here are preaching socialism and communism, especially with this, these fucking Marxist extremists. Roroni Kenshin Hokkaido arc, no! They know! You could see, I've been saying this for a while. Fuck. Even manga have been saying this for a while. You can learn you learn so much more from manga than you do in school sometimes. I swear. Ah. <sighs> Kamri uh, Takeda, his origins are unknown, but he is a cowardly and arrogant person. <laughs> a wealthy merchant uh, who made fortune selling opium. He was exposed by the Potosai, arrested and sent um uh, arrested and sent to uh, Kabato prison. Uh, were there any other acquaintances of the Potosai besides that scumbag merchant? Yes, um, a fierce warrior is uh, listed in, in that section. Um, uh, Ayoshi um, uh, Shimori. It's rather strange, though. Uh, it's uh, it's a coincidence. Uh, more than coincidence. Um, it's rather strange, though, that both are now uh, here in the northern land. These good-for-nothings just drifted here, not like us, the Kikaku Heiki. So, how'd it go? Quite well. The city is now in chaos. Again? 
I gotta question the timing of this freaking chapter, man. Oh my god, the timing of this chapter is just... It's just so perfect, man. <laughs> it's so perfect! Oh my god! Um, Arunkun, what is it? You have a flair for business. Thank you. Let me be your teacher. I'd rather not. <laughs> you and I are very much alike. Absolutely not. Never. First of all, we have a similar taste in clothes. You don't listen to others, do you? It's only a coincidence. And we're both able to talk about money freely without shame. That is also just a coincidence. We're not the same. Arunk, Arunkun. What do you think the value of money is? Why ask me all, this, all of a sudden? Um, why ask me all of, all of a sudden what I think? You really don't listen to others, do you? Uh, well, the fa- uh... Well, that's the va- Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Well, that's the value of money. Isn't it possible, uh, to buy, uh, various things? Of course, but there are some things you can't buy. Uh, yes, there are certain things you, can, you can't buy. Uh, for example, talent, lineage, a good family, appearance, skin color, hair color. No, that's not true. You can buy appearance. Well, not in this time anyway. You can't buy appearance. That's not true. That's in this time period. You can't buy appearance for the most part. That I know of anyway. You can't. But hair color, yes, a skin color and hair color. Yes, you can. You can. It's called um. It's called spray tans. Um. If you're uh. If you, um. Yes, you can. Because it's not healthy for you to do. There's skin bleaching, which I don't ever recommend doing. Don't skin bleach your skin if you're dark. Don't don't do that. That's not healthy for your skin. Um. There's tanning if you're lighter, obviously. And hair color. Duh. You could dye it. I think, and which I think you can do in this time period as well. You could dye your hair color. So that is bullshit. That is bullshit. Talent? Yes. Uh, wait. Can you buy talent? Can you buy talent? Mm. Well, you could buy tutors to help you with uh, improve your talent. That's true. But no. Otherwise, no. Lineage? No. A good family? To an extent, yes. It's called uh, it's called adoption. Do you not know how, how expensive adoption is? Adoption's expensive. And if you consider animals family, yes, you can buy a good family if, if, you, can, um, if you include animals in that. And appearance? Obviously, yes. It's called plastic surgery. And also, you know, like, wha with your, if you want to conclude your eyebrows, waxing and shit. So, that's, so, you're wrong there to an extent. Things that can't be bought with money creates discrimination. And that I will agree. Things that can't be bought with money creates discrimination. That is very true. That's why money exists. If you're, um... No, that's not why money exists. That's bullshit. If you're ordinary and nobody, a uh, low class or even ugly, uh, you could still earn money like every everyone else. Um, even if you're born into nothing, the more uh, you earn, the higher you can reach. This right here. I'm going to read this again because this is very important. Motherfucker, these that's what these motherfucking socialists and these commies do not understand. Because a lot of these dumb assholes want free handouts. And this is the beauty of free market capitalism. If you're an if you're ordinary and nobody, low class or even ugly, um, you could still earn money like everyone else. Even if you're born into nothing, uh, the more you earn, the higher you can reach. Oh, actually, let me read. I think I'm, I read this wrong. Sorry. If you're ordinary, nobody, low class, or even ugly, even if you're born into nothing, you could still earn money like everyone else. The more you earn, the higher you can reach. See? Right there. This fucking page. Or this fucking panel. Right here. This is why free market capitalism is amazing. 
Get him, go, read this one more time, because I fucked it up the first time. The, if you're ordinary, a nobody, a low class, or even ugly, even if you're born into nothing, you can still earn money like everyone else. The more you earn, the higher you can reach. Money is the most fair and equal thing in all the world. That's the true value of money. This is the, that is the true value of free market capitalism right there. This is right, this is straight up fucking preaching to the choir. This is why free market capitalism is amazing. And this is why, so, this is why socialism and communism is bad. This is why I fucking hate these motherfuckers that are preaching about free handouts and shit. This right here. I'm going to be posting these panels on my Twitter. Because them motherfuckers don't understand it. I hate that. I hate this shit. I hate when these commies. Because I have, I see like a lot of these socialists and shit. And, and, uh, and far leftists talk, uh, talk about, uh, well, socialists, commies, Marxists, whatever see them like on uh whether it's on social media or these live streams they're talking about like how they deserve money they deserve all this shit we deserve all this shit no this is what I'm to this is right here this right here i really love this this is so beautiful i'm oh god i love this right here i gotta read the second part of this quote again this right here about money right here because this is so beautiful true money is the most fair and equal thing in all the world that's the true value of money dude that is deep as fuck i never thought of it like that i never thought of it like that at all From a capitalistic point of view, I never thought of it like that. That's so fucking deep, man. I'm kind of, it's such a, sa a shame to see you struggle without mo without money, thanks to those fools who fight for the sake of the wor of world. Oh my God. Without money, thanks to those fools who fight for the sake of the world. You should stay with me and we can make plenty of money. Wouldn't you like to buy anything and everything that you could ever want? I know, I know. I know he's being an asshole. I know he is. But up until that point, he was, oh, he was fucking right. He is. He's a scumbag. But let's be real. What he's talking about in terms of, like, the basics of money, he is, he is fucking right about ca when it comes to capitalism. That is fucking capitalism right there. Oh, God. God, that was so deep. Why the long face? You look down. Um, are you worried about that? what that boy said? Well, sort of. Um, what that boy Aaron said was right uh, that it was. I mean, it feels a bit different from Yahiko. Well, um, those three idiots are Meiji kids uh, born in the Meiji era. Speak of the devil, did something happen while you were out shopping? It's so awful. The next weapon is a gun. We saw them use uh, a gato gun in town. Oh, shit. Where are the guns? Give me a gun! Cut it out! What are you doing in here? Take the valuables! Grab it all! Oh, God. You see, what this shit is, this shit is with the guns. Uh, the sword, what the swords and the guns are bringing out is the ugly side of human nature. Just like there's an ugly side, uh, there's a beautiful side of capitalism. There's, there's an ugly side with it. And that's what that's what um this uh what's great about this manga is that it's not and not everything is perfect with with good with the good there's the ugly just how shit is in life not gonna lie because i know a lot of you a lot of you guys are going to be like pack a girl there's there's the ugly side of capitalism too well duh it's called human nature human nature it's not everything is perfect human humans fuck shit up all fuck fuck everything up all the time that's just how shit is. Uh, Kamryu, how you bragged out uh, you don't do illegal acts, but you lied. What do you mean? Don't play dumb. There are guns with the Gato Crest out on the market. You know about these guns? Um, about the Gato Crest is certainly something that I came up with, but uh, I, um, I did that to this, uh, the sword so they look would look more dignified. 
I don't think that he's lying in this case. He would have, pl uh, have a plan to sell guns next to the swords. I'm not, I'm sure that he didn't even look at my proposed dojo uh, management plan from the beginning. Fine point, my disciple. Um, it, uh, it's different. Um, from the beginning, it's different. Fine point, my disciple. Did you hear that? Hear that, you fools? Well, then maybe it's the work of that black hood. He must have been jealous of my talent as a merchant. So he's trying to steal the brand name of Gato. It's called competition. There's not a monopoly. It's com competition, you fools. There's no reason for us to be jealous of a scumbag merchant like you. Ooh. That brand name is now valid. We shall take it. I don't know how, but it looks like they've been they have been watching our every move. And along with that, I uh, I shall claim your life. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh fuck! What the hell are you trying to do? Oh, why are you helping him? That scumbag merchant is a convict who should be put to death. He's one of the bad guys that you captured, right? Itokura and, and Hakudate, uh, wait, Itokura and Hakudate also knew about us. As I thought, you, you've you been looking into us, haven't you? Then you know that I don't approve of killing others. I vowed that I would never kill again. So as long as, I, um, as I'm, uh, as, um, am, as I'm here, I will never let you kill anyone. Whoever it is, I'll protect them. Uh, that, uh, whoever it is, I'll protect them, uh, that I will. Um... I'll go back in, into town. Uh, Sano, I leave them. I leave him to you. Ashitaro, follow me. Uh, don't forget about the re don't forget about the reward, old man. Wait, where are you going? Uh, you won't escape. Uh oh. Not looking good. Um, chasing after a money hungry person like that isn't any fun, is it? I'll take you on. Oh yes. But. Um, uh, but I won't go easy on you like Kenshin. Bring it on. Whether you live or die depends on the outcome. Yes! Brawler Sunosuke Sagara. I've already looked you up in the Book of Fierce Warriors. There's a Book of Fierce Warriors. Oh, shit. Kinkaku Heiki, the, um, the Axe, Fugo, uh, Ono, uh, Tomitaka, Bell type, Breaking Bell Axe. Wait a minute. Doesn't that sound like Raido from, uh, from the Kengen series? Of course you also have that, uh, Fudin, um, no, uh, Kiwami. Strength versus strength. So we gotta wait a month for next, till next month for this, uh, for the next chapter, but my god. This chapter was really good. Because what we saw here, and to an extent we saw it last, uh, last time I covered this manga as well, but we really saw it here. This chapter really showed the pros and cons of free market capitalism. That's what this chapter did. But again, I gotta say what, um, what was said, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. What Kamryu said about money, at just the value of money as a whole, that was so freaking brilliant. The metaphor for money was just, oh my god, that was just so brilliant. I love, that was my, probably my favorite part, again, that was my favorite part of this chapter. It was so goddamn awesome. I fucking love it. I love it, love it, love it. And yes, it totally made me think of Mr. Krabs in a way, the money is always right. Yes, it did. But what he said was so true, that money does not discriminate. No. But again, what, Ke what he said was uh, that you can come from nothing. You could be ugly as fuck, but you can, um, uh, but at the same time, you don't need status or any, uh, you could come from nothing, but you can make as much money as you want and you can raise yourself up. That's how you know he was talking about capitalism. And what we saw, you know, uh, the last time I covered this manga was proof of that. He was, he was, um, cleaning shit literally cleaning shit and he found money in the prisoner and the uh uh prison guards uh bathrooms while he was literally literally cleaning shit and he was able to invest that money in the so in the god of in the swords and start making money off that shit that is the beauty of capitalism right there and yes i know we saw the the uh 
the dark side, again, we saw the dark side of capitalism, which, it, or slash consequences of um, capitalism to an extent, which is, which was, you know, the so, the uh, people using those swords and the Gato guns too. And yes, we saw the innovation too. Um, we saw the, the people on the streets using those swords and guns against each other, but that's not, you know, his fault. It's the people's fault. It was their fault that it was human nature right there, okay? Human nature, it wasn't his fault. That was human nature at, at, um, at work. But man, that was so good. Holy shit. I love this. And again, the t I gotta say, the timing of these fucking chapters, man. Whoa, the timing of these chapters is just, like, is brilliant as shit. Anyway, ugh. God, I'm very curious what you guys uh, thought of um, of this chapter. What do you think of that quote from um, from Kamryu? What he said about the value of money. Did you guys agree? Do you guys agree with me? What he was saying was really true. Was like was the concept of free market capitalism at its core, like I do. And um, and you gotta again question the timing of this chapter coming out. Jesus Christ! Um, and what do you guys, do you guys agree with me that at the same time, we did see, like, both sides of the spectrum in terms of the, uh, good and the bad side of, of capitalism. Like, yes, we saw innovation, and we saw, um, you know, the, um, the, mon uh, um, the, uh, financial side, but we also saw the darker side, which is the consequences of the, of, uh, the items. And we saw the human nature side coming out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Roroni Kenshin content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my uh, Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!